Looks like you've had a derailment there. Oh, the track's bent. Mr Quancy kept throwing out the windy. I heard about your trouble today. Who she says I've just up going to the day centre? I'll never get a job now. Can't let them get away with this, Andy. I know what you're thinking. They're a big multinational corporation. They run the buses, they run the trains. They've swallowed up every route and every company they've ever set their sights on, but they're bullies, Sandy. And you know what we must always do when confronted by bullies? Keep your head down, don't say nothing, and keep on walking. We must resist them. They may have bigger boots, but we have more feet. Because it only takes one person, Sandy, one person to, to inspire another and another and another until the whole towering edifice is revealed as the impotent sham that it is. We must stand up to them, Sandy. Oh. Communications call. We did. What's wrong? What's the emergency? Well, the emergency is that this train has failed to make the mandatory scheduled stop at this station. What? Do you know what the penalty is for using the communications card without due cause? And do you know what the penalty is for failing to provide the statutory level of service as a franchisee? You are in a lot of trouble, pal. Transport. Well, it's about time you got here. We're not the kind of men who like to be kept waiting. This is a very serious matter. I would have expected you to give it the urgency it deserves. Well, perhaps you'd like to tell me why you pulled the communication cord on our commuter service this morning. Well, perhaps you'd like to tell us why we were compelled to. For I have here the British Rail timetable upon which the passenger service requirement for this line is based, and it quite clearly states that the driver of that train should have stopped at Cannonbridge at 9.37 and not have relied upon action by passengers. And we demand immediate redress. And we shall have to ask these policemen to place you under arrest. Have we met before? If we have met before, I'm sure you would remember me. Good point. Look, the, um, the passenger service requirement for this line states that Windmill must provide a service stopping at Cannonbridge four times a day. Now, if you look at our timetable here, you'll see that we've got trains stopping at Cannonbridge at 7.32, 14.15, 19.02 and 23.12. No, but those, those services are useless. Where are your rush hour trains? Taking commuters to work and back on express services that are 20% quicker than previously. Leaving my friend here and countless others like him completely stranded at peak time. But there's nothing illegal in the windmill timetable, sir, which is more than can be said about your actions this morning, which make you and your friend liable to a maximum thousand pound fine and a prison sentence. You're going to make a complaint? No, 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 the press would love that. But if either of you set foot on any of our trains again, we're going to treat it as criminal trespass. OK? OK, OK. See them off the premises. Hey, come on. <laughs> move it. Move it. You've not heard the last of us, Mr. Mackey. Hey, come on. No, I don't suppose I have. Does that mean money will not be in the papers after all? Well, not tomorrow, perhaps, but did you see that? And didn't you see that? What? Well, we may have lost this one on a, on a sort of technicality, Sandy, but they know we're onto them and they're running scared. They are? I'll bet you George Mackey is on the phone right now to Kathleen Gorman herself, worrying, fretting, wondering, wondering what we're going to do next. <laughs> what are we going to do next? It's a good question. It'll have to be a feat of diabolical cunning. We'll go back to the house now and plan a strategy meeting. How are we going to get there? Oh. Well, I suppose we'll have to wait for a bus. There's a bus. 
not one that's likely to do us much good unless we buy it, though. If I bought that bus, I could go to Cannon Bridge any time I wanted. Of course, that's it! Sandy, you're a genius! I am! You are a genius! <laughs> Thank you.